when it's finally a little bit chilly in Los Angeles. It's finally beanie weather. I get addicted to wearing beanies once I start wearing them for like the fall. And also it's just great cause like your hair can look like absolute <laughs> crap as mine, you know, does when I don't do it and <laughs> wake up. And you can just like put on a beanie and it makes it look like a little bit more put together cause the top part isn't showing. Anyway, I'm about to head out for the day. I'm actually taking this guy to the vet. Yeah, we're gonna go to the vet. We're gonna get checked in on his surgery and make sure that everything went well and that he's healing well. So hopefully it'll be just like a quick appointment, but I wear sweatpants almost every day now. I kind of think regular pants compared to sweatpants are the most uncomfortable thing in the whole world. So this pair is from Jack Vanek and they look plain, but then on like the back part, they have these little smiley faces and the eyes are snowflakes on the butt, so I don't know. I really enjoy these and I really enjoy jogger sweatpants in general. And then I just have on some gray Vans. I also wear Vans like almost every day for my shoes. I just don't really try anymore. Maybe I'll try like one or two days a week, like if I have class or something. Um, but other than that, I wear sweatpants. <laughs> Maybe it's a phase, but whatever. Um, I have this little mini backpack. This is actually new, it's from UNIF. I'm gonna do a haul this week, actually. And I just have my jacket. This is from uh, Wildflower and Element. And then just like a shirt, a really soft little um, tee from Brandy Melville and a Neff beanie. I don't know why I wanted to start the vlog in my bathroom today. Whoa, look how pale I look. This is creeping me out. Maybe I am this pill. I am heading out to the vet. I already told you that. All right, I'll see you in the car. I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling all right. So I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling all right. I forget about it all. all. I forgot about this song, Cuddy Zone by Kid Cuddy. It's a really old song and it was one of my favorite songs like back in the day and I rediscovered it on Spotify the other night, added it to my November playlist and I have been jamming. Also, shout out to The Neighborhood's new album, Pristine. I have also been jamming to this. It all. know what's happening he's like the last time I was in this seat I went to get my balls chopped off so I don't trust you I don't trust you woman all right look at this truck that's in front of me trippy tumbleweed well we're back that took about less than five minutes um basically they just like checked him out really quick and they were like yeah he's healing all good they asked me a few questions the vet is in the area that meg and i used to live in i feel like silly that i don't have anything else to do um i could go to my old nail salon but i couldn't actually because i have squirtle but i think i'm just gonna head back downtown and this was kind of a waste of like an hour and something i knew this appointment was not necessary when i called them on the phone and they were like because they told me he needed to have a checkup after two weeks when he first got his surgery and then when i called back to make the appointment they were like uh what do you want an appointment for like i knew it was not really a necessary appointment but at the same time like i want to make sure that he didn't get infected or anything after his surgery and he's all good so my hair looks like a piece of poo look at this i need to just start like doing my hair like i'm I don't really do my hair much anymore. Why am I so lazy? Like, I don't wear makeup anymore, hardly. I don't do my hair. I I don't get dressed in, like, actual clothes. What is up with me, Squirtle? I just am a lazy butt. Okay, so I'm gonna head back downtown now. I'm going to drop him off. I'm going to get my nails done because this one and this one broke this weekend unfortunate and i just have i've had this color on for probably like six or seven weeks it's been a while i'm back at the apartment now i actually just straightened my hair and i am going to meet megan to get her nails done now hello somebody wants to join in the party but um i'm excited because i actually found out that i'm going to the hunger games new movie premiere tonight at la live which is downtown so megan was going and then she just told me uh, like an hour ago she was like i found out that i have a plus one do you want to come and i was like yeah of course i want to come so we're gonna go get our nails done get ready a little bit i mean i'll probably do my makeup a slight bit but it's not like a red carpet 
premiere, it's just like a, uh, it's just a movie. So, I mean, we're literally just gonna be sitting in a dark movie theater, so it doesn't really matter. Hello, so Meg and I are back now. Um, we're getting ready. Well, she's getting ready for the premiere now and I'm making us dinner. I'm making us some garlic and roasted veggie ravioli right now. So that's going. I told you we were going to get our nails done. I forgot to bring my camera there. I left it on the counter, I realized, when I got back. But I got this pretty, it's like a rosy, pinky, maroon color on my nails. I'm having some avocado toast right now. Little appetizer. I'm freaking starving. So, yeah. We're going to have our ravioli. We're going to head out to the premiere. I'm so excited to see this movie, honestly. I think it comes out on Friday. So, this is awesome. I will definitely give you guys, like, our reactions after the movie. You're ready, folks. In our striped dresses. Our black and whites. And we're heading out. Our Uber's here. Hey guys, so we're here. I found some friends. Hey, hey guys. Oh, by the way, you guys are not allowed to be in here. Oh. So we could probably okay, so get kicked out. apparently their cameras got confiscated in mine. Well, can I tell a story? Yeah. Okay. So I, try, I tried to, <laughs> I looked like a potato. <laughs> I tried to smuggle in Claudia's camera in my jacket and then I put like my, uh, I'm not saying concealer, on um, in the same pocket so that people thought that like, it was my concealer and not the camera. Oh. Didn't work. Did it didn't, didn't work. work. I don't know how. I don't know how. Did yours get taken? Not a lot. We I didn't bring mine. We're trying to. We brought some snacks, some popcorn. Just a little. I, know. I told her. I All said, right. listen. I don't want to get this get taken. So. Always I hope your everyone phone. enjoys the film. Oh, it's going to be fun. Oh, this popcorn is so good. good. We are home now. Why is that keep happening? What? To your camera? Yeah. Okay. It gets stuck like that and I have to like fix the light. Yeah, that happened to Alex's too and I'm pretty sure she like took it. It's because I dropped it. it. Okay, so. Her our hand just touched my butt. I'm sorry about that. I'm so sorry. Do you want to make Immediately. <laughs> okay, so our reactions to the film. Let's get yours. Honestly, I thought it was beautiful. Um, the lady, the cat lady, such great makeup. I want to like do oh, yeah. a Halloween tutorial on that, but that's gonna be like. I was year. just like, what? <laughs> it's not. I, I was, but it's I Halloween just. <laughs> yeah, it would have to be yeah. next year. I mean, unless I did it like randomly, but that would be really fucking weird. Um, but yeah, other than that, I thought it was just a great film overall. Yeah, it was a good film. I wish I watched the first one before it. Yeah, they didn't do any kind of a recap like we were suspecting. I don't know why we thought they would. They just went right into it. I definitely enjoyed. It was very, very intense. Like, it was scary. I was on my toes. It was thrilling. There was just, like, you never knew what was going to happen, obviously. But there was a lot of, like, it was also very sad. There was a lot of violence, a lot of sad parts. Um, but in the end, I think pretty happy with how it turned yeah, the, out. Yeah, no, the last scene was literally so beautiful. Yeah, I think you should definitely go see it if you watch the Hunger Games films. Yeah, maybe if you have time, uh, watch the, the- Part one. Yeah, part one of Mockingjay before you go the to The only thing I remembered two. from part one going into seeing part two was that the last scene was like PETA in a straight jacket. Right. And then it kind of resumed off. Was he in a straight jacket? Yeah, well, he was I just remember he, he was, was just in like a down. white thing. Strap down. Yeah. We won't give away anymore. Any spoilers. <laughs> Um, so we came back to my apartment after we ordered some Postmates. We got LA Cafe and it's so freaking good. Yeah, this is only the second time I've ever had LA yeah, Cafe. Yeah, me, me too. I had it last night for the first time with my friends Koi and Hayden and thank God like Koi told me about it because it's so close to my apartment and it's open I don't know 24 why. I hours. I really don't know why you hadn't heard of it before. No, no, I heard of it, but I didn't know it was like this so close, close to me and I also didn't know that it was 24 hours. So we'll be hitting that up on Postmates uh, a oh, lot, yes. I can tell you folks. But also other news, I have a new device. I got a new friend. This is Alexa. Look at her. I was on Amazon the other day and an ad came up at the top for this thing called the Amazon Echo and I had never heard of it I clicked on it it had 17,000 reviews yeah and it was like oh, one of Oprah's favorite things so I like read about this thing and I somehow ordered it it came in the mail the next day I somehow <laughs> ordered it <laughs> I don't remember me how on, me on Amazon it. But basically, it's, um, you call her Alexa. It's kind of like a robot, slash, it's a really nice speaker. You can listen to audiobooks. It's also, like, a combination of Siri. You can basically ask it, like, hold on. Um, Alexa, what is the weather outside right now? In Los Angeles, it's 55 degrees with clear skies. 
Today, you can look for lots of sun with a high of 73 and a low of 48. Thank you. Alexa, what is the traffic right now? To hear your traffic information, go to your Alexa app and set up your commute. Oh. Alexa, tell me a joke. Smaller babies may be delivered by stork, but the heavier ones need a crane. Ha <laughs> ha. Alexa, tell me a funny joke. Why can't a bicycle stand on its own? Because it's too tired. I don't get it. Tired. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't that good, but. Um, Alexa, play Taylor Swift. Shuffling Taylor Swift Woo! from Prime Music. Oh, I'm living. Do you see this? This thing's freaking awesome. Lizzie lives for robots. She has two robots. I have this robot and I have my floor cleaning robot, which have I shown you? I have low battery, so we're gonna go hang out with Alexa and charge up. I'll be seeing ya. My mouth. <laughs> I have a single lamp on in my entire apartment. Basically, my Alexa is amazing. I'm having so much fun playing with that thing. Holy freaking crap. Like I said, I was just browsing Amazon. I had never heard of it and I found out about it and I was like, oh my god, like this thing just seems so cool. And I'm really, really liking it. Megan and I were listening. We were just telling it to it. I guess I'll, should I say her or it? I don't know. We were telling it to, it to play like just all of this music, like old school Taylor Swift some 21 Pilots, some Amy Winehouse. It was awesome. <laughs> I'm excited to like play with this thing more. Um, it's really cool because it doubles as like a really, really good speaker and you can just talk to it to like lower and adjust the volume. So like you can be like across your whole apartment and you can just say like Alexa, which is like how you, that's like the name of it to get its attention. Oh, like I just said, Alexa. <laughs> and it turns blue at the top. Alexa, power off. So cool, like I love robots. I love 2015. I don't know if it's considered a robot. I feel like it is. I had a really great day. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I was thinking about going ahead and starting editing right now, but it's like 2.30 right now. And I think I'm just gonna go to sleep and edit in the morning. So thank you guys very much for watching. I love you so much. Give this vlog a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I am gonna be vlogging again. What day am I vlogging? I'm vlogging on Thursday because I'm changing out my hair color. I actually might be vlogging before that because this week, this week I have some plans and some things that I am very excited that are happening. I'm gonna end the vlog and I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Seriously, I really mean it and I really appreciate the fact that you watch my vlogs. It means a lot to me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.